Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. In this video, we're going to talk about Google Showcase Ads. This is a feature that Google introduced a couple of months ago within the beta section of AdWords. If you don't have the beta user interface, contact your Google partner and ask them to add you as a client and then you should be able to see the new uh, user interface button in the bottom right corner. So when you click on it, it should be in blue uh, saying Google AdWords uh, beta user interface. When you have that feature and you have a active data feed within Google Merchant, you can create showcase ads. Now, before we start uh, setting things up, we need to understand what uh, are showcase ads. Showcase ads are designed to present a catalog for generic search terms. The intention is because a customer does not really know which type of brand or design they are looking for, uh, to present them a whole list of catalogs uh, of products so they can easily browse through the products and see what they are interested in, instead of getting a whole list of every single merchant competing to, to each other. It is just your uh, uh, showcase ads within your own section. Um, however, when you search for a product, you are competing against other competitors, but once they are clicking on the showcase ad, it is only your products that will be shown. So let's say we search for hoodies. In this case, then we will see all the other competitors within the carousel on the web search. And then when you click on it, you will then see a catalog of all your products that you list. Now let's go and see how our uh, costs calculated for uh, a ad. So normally it is a click that you then get charged per click. Uh, but in this case, there are three types of engagements. So it's called CPE. So the first and most obvious one is the click on a link, which is then uh, an engagement. The second is a click on a uh, product itself. And then the third one is if a customer has spent more than 10 seconds within the catalog, then it is also a engagement. So three types of engagements and that is your uh, so-called the older version of cost per click but then CPE. Uh, so that is how uh, the clicks are calculated in the new showcase ads. Um, this is available for desktop devices, mobile and tablets. So they all look a little bit different. So in a mobile device, it's a new kind of tab that sweeps in. And within the desktop and laptops, it is a pop-up that comes up with all the catalog products. And now we will start creating the campaign in Google AdWords. First, we need to click on the big blue button within your Google AdWords account. Then choose shopping from the select campaign type. You link up your account. Normally, if you only have one account, it will be pre-selected, but in uh, multi-accounts, you will have to select the type of account that you want to choose. So normally the country of sale will be uh, whichever is predefined within the account that has been linked. Um, but if you have, for example, currency conversion enabled, you can then choose the different types of countries simply by searching and you will see which ones are enabled. Then simply click on continue. You can now assign a campaign name. Simply let's say test, assign a budget. Priority, you can just leave it as default because you can't uh, change the priority settings within uh, Showcase Ads. Uh, here again, you can choose your target country. So let's just continue. And now you can choose Showcase Shopping. Let's give it a ad group name, a default bid. And what you can do is create uh, separate lists now, what is important to know that if your separate list is too small, the showcase ads will not work. Because the showcase ads needs a minimum amount of products, uh, which I currently don't know. Um, so if you have only, for example, only 10 products, then I do not recommend separating them into smaller groups. Um, so per ad group, I would definitely recommend 20, 30, or even more products. Um, so if you have only one uh, niche product, uh, let's say um, uh, covers for your phone, uh, then I would say use all of them in within one uh, 
campaign because what we are targeting are generic search terms and uh, that means that the customer doesn't really know what they're buying so by leaving that as default for now is a good idea you can later on once you have a lot of data accumulated you can start splitting it up into smaller sections and see what works and what doesn't work for now let's uh, go and save and continue what we now need to do is upload a image this image needs to be 1080 by 566 now what you can do is choose a square image but in most cases that might not work as you can see here we've got an image that doesn't really work um, but you can then just simply choose product image and then the requirement for a square header image is not needed you then add a header image uh, sorry a header line you then add a description a funnel URL and a display URL and then simply click on save and there you go now you have created a showcase ad as a simple as that now you need to wait for the review to pass once this is done your ads will show up for generic search terms now if the competition is very low meaning that there are only a couple of merchants doing this then the ads will most likely not show you then need to wait for other merchants to also populate within that uh, product niche. So when once that is done, then you will see that your ads will be showing up more and more. I recommend letting it run for a couple of weeks and see how it progresses and adjust accordingly. Um, if you have any questions regarding showcase ads or more advanced setups, do not hesitate to let me know. Leave a comment below or contact me on my website and I'm more than happy to help. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.